it's gone. Oh, it's slipping. It's gone. She's going on a trailer. Going on a trailer. The most awkward thing has officially happened to me at a hotel. Okay, this keeps getting weirder and weirder. Yeah, do you guys have any rooms tonight? How does it feel booking the worst, I think this takes the cake on the worst room we've ever had for the power tour. Yep, she gone. Oh, it's crooked. It's broken. The mount's broken? Yeah. Oh, it sure is, dude, look at that. Welcome to day four of the 2024 Hot Rod Power Tour from the Econo Lodge in downtown Louisville. We're headed to Hebron, Hebron, Ohio, just outside of Columbus. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have some more action-packed uh, video today with the van going around the track. Maybe do some drag racing, I don't know. We got the crew getting ready to roll. Let's hit the road. Well, we're only on the road for 15 minutes and they're pretty rough. And Derek's uh, transmission started to act up. <laughs> you got a rag, bud? Yeah, I got a truck. Oh, but she's just a little low. Smell a little bit of rubber, you must be rubbing. <laughs> Every freaking pothole. Oh, oh yeah, I think we need some. It might just be low on transmission fluid. Back on the road, waiting for an update from Derek. Make sure that uh, he goes into overdrive. Basically, his truck wasn't shifted into overdrive. So we had a feeling his transmission fluid was a little low or one of these massive potholes uh, knocked his linkage out of gear. I also did a terrible job at cleaning the windshield. So sorry for the next bit of video. Derek, how we doing, man? It's still revving super high. Do you want to get off here and take another look at it? Well, I mean, you can't be turning 4,500 RPM for another thousand miles. Do 55 or 50 right here. No in neutral, go back in drive. Uh, it wasn't a simple fix, so we'll get back to you in a second. Oh boy! Like somebody's been living in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. Yeah, dude, you're gonna have to scoot that seat up. Does it have, huh? does it have brakes? Yeah. Okay. They're just squishy. That's the floor. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Typical Derek. All right, so we got a plan. Kick Derek out of his truck. Bye, Derek. <laughs> Chad's gonna drive it, because he's got way more experience in this than any of us. How do I always end up in the driver's seat of break down Derek's truck? That's what I want to know. That's true. Every power tour. Every power tour. Guy never fails. Oh my God. It's one. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's slipping. It's gone. Oh, Um. That's gone. Yeah. Uh, was this fluid burnt? There wasn't enough on the dipstick to smell it. Nice. So the fluid that was on there was fresh. We could probably check it now. This is smoked. <laughs> Do you want to tell him or you want me to tell him? Uh, I'll tell him. Let me tell him. Break it to him easy, Chad. That doesn't happen. <laughs> Derek. Typical <laughs> Derek. Oh, it's stuck in a second now. And I'm in overdrive. Okay. Do we need to drive it some more? No, I, I mean, it, it's track training's ruined. Yeah? I'm stuck in second. Let's, uh, let's stretch our legs a little out here. If we can, there's a lot of red lights. Not 
even accelerating. There's overdrive. Comes and goes. Hit the train. Done. All right. Just had to make double, doubly sure. He's got first and second. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, I'm turning 4,500. Yeah. Here's an O'Reilly's if we wanted to. And that's what Charlie said. He's like, if he's got a 4L60, there's no way he's turning 4,400 RPMs. Yeah. That's why we drove it. That's right. What time do they open? They should be open now. Oh, it says open. Leave it right here. This is going to be the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> oh, breakdown, Derek. Strikes again. Break down there. Rise again. <laughs> Here come the boys. Break oh, down, okay. Derek. <clears throat> Your 4L60 has left the chat. Sick. So what's the good news? We might be able to top it off with some fluid and get it going. It's still it's still a little low on trans fluid, so. When's the last time you checked it? Probably. Did you check it? Not. Uh, 20 minutes ago. Derek's gonna rebuild his first transmission in a O'Reilly's parking lot. Come on, Frank. Let me take that out. I'm just gonna squeeze this little pack here. Ah, you just dump it in there, man. Oh, it's honey. Pour a little ATF in that. Refill Squish complete. Oh, you get all of it. Uh, yeah. Get all the goodness. Not for test drive. All right. You gonna hold my coffee? Sure will. Hold my coffee, watch this. All right, we'll be right back. Hopefully with third and fourth. It's not going. You wanna know? You got a brand new tranny in a can at work. No, I'm not serious, this thing smoked. This is my first one, and I was like, oh, that's... Break down Derek's a veteran. <laughs> yeah. I said my other option is a Chevy dealer. Just drop it there and, and then fly back. Well, we're going to take it to uh, the shop to see what our options are. Derek wanted to take it to the Chevy dealership, so that's where we're going. Certified service. Maybe he could rent a Corvette, finish the trip out. So Derek is trying to work a deal with this fella to sell him the truck instead of rebuilding the transmission. You see that paper in his hand? He just got the bill and I think he's ready to get rid of the truck. In the service department of the Chevy dealership. <laughs> in LaGrange, Kentucky. <laughs> that, that guy is a service tech. She's going on the trailer. Going on the trailer. Yeah. You're not going to finish the tour? Dang, man. I don't want to leave. I don't want to spend four grand leaving here. Right. That's the only way. I'm not going to trailer it on the tour either. Right. So it's my only option to turn around and go back. All right. Boo. Let's Break guess. down, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> Never good. Yeah. Never good power tour for Break down, Derek. This is the first one he hasn't finished, though. It's Technically, a, when you I'm lost the transmission in your driveway, we're counting that as a loss. True. All right. That's, no, you're right. That is the. This is the this first, is the first one he has. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, probably. Okay. I'm not trailing the whole thing all the way around. Right. I'm saying we could find a spot to leave it. Okay. It's all good. We leave at her house, right? <laughs> yeah. You sign up for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Well, dang. Um, all right. So now we got to coordinate all this, but. Oh, Derek's going Trump's home. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer for Derek, man. I feel real bad for him. That's the literally the first time in all the trips that we've done where he wasn't able to finish or had to go home early. Uh, dang it, man. But the Paratour goes on for the crew. Um, he's going to get a trailer, take it home. He almost sold the truck off the dealership parking lot to one of the techs, but that deal didn't come together. Anyway, we uh, also got an alert from the power tour that there is a big accident on part of the route we're supposed to take. So now we're going to cruise through some other back roads and make up our own route.
Got to take a potty break. Uh, I don't know what town we're in. Uh, Warsaw. Yeah, so it's like uh, we just came down a little main street here and came across this market. Got the camera in the van, so I ran out and grabbed it, but I was chatting with the girls in there that are running the uh, little food counter in the back. They said there was an accident, which is why we saw all those emergency vehicles hauling. Well, that was a great cruise in. Um, the original route had us on the interstate for most of the way, but there was an accident, so we got diverted. And then that last stop we did, um, we, it was this little country road right off the interstate. That ended up actually being faster than the interstate, probably because of all the traffic, but here we are. I don't even know what this place is called. What's this called? This is, I think it's a Lucas Indy Na Strip. National Trail Raceway. Oh, that's Lucas Oil's tomorrow. Oh, well. So this is the National Trail Raceway. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. There you go. This is what it is. Also, and then there was three. There was three. <laughs> R.I.P. Derek Bloom. Break down Derek again. <laughs> There's no autocross at this venue. And I was really hoping there was going to be yeah. some, but... I don't know, maybe I'll take the van down the drag strip. Pro probably won't do that, but let's go check this venue out. 40 coming through. That is killer. Look at that GT40. Whoa. Followed up by a Daytona. Dad gum. This is the show, Daytona? Well, that was unexpected. Popped out of nowhere. Yes. Old club parking right here. We, we might spring for this next year. Just get a little bit uh, over, under. I was going to go under. Oh, my hips don't move like that. Yeah, we might spring for that. What's up? Oh, yeah. Oh, we saw this guy last year. This thing is sweet. Look at this. He's got the grill molded into the trailer. And I think it's all functional. Yeah, remember we oh chat me we saw this uh in South Carolina. Check this C10 out. I think I shot this earlier in the week, but the hood wasn't open. So we got a twin turbo Brian Tooley Racing LS with a Holly high rise intake and a 102 millimeter throttle body. Look at that fat intercooler, dude. Let me get the get out the way there for you. Ooh, look at these uh these panels that finish it off. Yeah, this thing is sick, dude. Look at this Biscayne. What year is that? A 58? Woo! What's the flip out in the bumper? Is that a step? Is that you a step? Uh, the flip out the Sorry, what's that? Is that for a step or what is that? Nope, it's a flip and tailgate. So it's a hinge and the tailgate. Oh. Oh, wow. oh, that's cool. And that's the 
hinge for the split. Yeah. Check out this Continental. Looks like OG paint, 20 inch transits, 22 inch transits, aired out. Dude, that's awesome. Looks like Rusto Mod just pulled up. And we got, dang it, I can't remember this dude's Instagram handle, but he took this truck, it's all wheel drive, LS swap with a big old fat turbo. He took it on the Hoonigan channel and was just ripping it around. It's been just killing it with this truck, man. Hey, you never know who you're gonna run into out at the Power Tour. We got Rusto Mod. We got Metal Massacre Fab Shop. And we got Dewey's Speed Shop. Not Dewey's, dude, it's Dewey's, right? Dewey. Yeah, man. Hey, Toyota. We're all making it. I mean, we've had some issues, but nothing, uh, right, that hasn't like, held us back. That's right. But you guys saw who uh, broke down this morning. So we're doing all, all of us are doing better than him. So have not seen this car yet, Cadillac Seville. Two door. Look at the fins on the back of that sucker. De Soto. Look how short the line is for the stamps. <laughs> what is it? It's a doggy. <laughs> Made it over to the drag race in here at the start finish line. You got a challenger versus a challenger, it looks like. Now we got a supercharger. The blue one got a little loose. Could be in the 12s. 12.9 and a 12.4 in the right lane. 12.9 left lane, 12.4 right lane. That's about right. A super B. Well, it's got the sticker on the back. the Volkswagen Golf hatchback. Golf got a 14.6 and the Doge got a 13.2. So we have decided that the line is too long to get on the track and do a pass. Just gonna walk around and hang out a little bit. What's going on here? Spicy. Yeah, dude, we just got too much going on. We're gonna walk around for a bit and then and head out, but if we came here a little earlier, we probably would have taken the van down the track. And you know what? I'm gonna blame this one on Derek. Thanks, Derek. I appreciate it. Not letting me go down the track. I'm kidding, man. I feel bad you're not here. Well, boys and girls, not much going on at the venue. I actually ran all the way from the drag strip to the van to try to get on the track, but they literally closed the staging lanes right when I started to back up. So just hung out at the tent for a little bit, but we're gonna go to the supermarket, get some food to grill tonight, and we're gonna check in at America's Best Value Hotel in Hebron, Hebron? Hebron. Hebron, like that. Hebron Ohio. I'm actually really excited to check this hotel out. This is what's up. <laughs> this spot. Oh, there's more than 10 rooms here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the Corvette guy that stayed with us at the last hotel. What are we doing here? Oh, we got to check in. The most awkward thing has officially happened to me at a hotel. So we asked to have rooms next to each other. She said, okay, cool. Programs the cards, writes out what we need to go to, blah, blah, blah. Also, the police department's right across the street, so I don't know what's gonna happen tonight. Anyway, swipe the card. There's a dude already in the room laying on the bed. Like, that is not, that is the most awkward thing I've ever seen. <laughs> he goes, he goes, oh, hello. And he's just like on the bed scrolling on his phone. Like, dude, what? Okay, this keeps getting weirder and weirder. So I got my new room, 124. So everybody's like all the way down there. I wanna show, I wanna show you guys something. I wanna show you guys something. So look, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go in. 
<laughs> I have not been in here yet. Uh, like, hello? There's a uh, beer at the phone. The beds are unmade. I don't get. I don't. Is this the three little piggies or the seven dwarfs who's sleeping in my bed? This is what. This is how we found the hotel room. And that's not. Yeah. I didn't put that beer there. And uh, yeah. Oh. No, no, no. You're all good. I was gonna say. Here's boss. There's a dude cruising around in that blue truck. Oh, he might know them. Guys, I don't know if we're. I don't know if we're staying I, here tonight. I wonder that Holiday Inn Express. If there's rooms. So Voss got room 125, which is right next to the apartment. This is like the apartment right here, where the uh, man management stays. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's knock first, please. Flip around. Other way. Right there. You go. Green. Is that what the flip around means? Oh, you're good. Okay. Well, kinda. That one's made. Yeah, but. Yeah, do you guys have any rooms tonight? Okay, yes, sir. I'll be more than happy to check this here if I had. I'll just need to ask these questions in order for me to better ask you. It's a call center. It's calling a hotel that's like 30 minutes away. It's already getting 7.30. We still gotta cook dinner. It's been a day. I had, a, I had a question for you, Chad. So, how does it feel booking the worst? The, I think this takes the cake on the worst room we've ever had for the Power Tour. Uh, I'm usually not one to throw the blame game, but this one I'm blaming on Buddy Hoffman. Buddy <laughs> Hoffman, <laughs> this is your fault. Hey, Buddy bailed too. Buddy's got yeah, the the, he, the green full top full top blazer, and he's out. Just. Trials and tribulations the of the one, power tour. Now the one that I booked in South Carolina, North Carolina, Z Max Raceway, I booked that. That was all on me. I didn't have any recommendations. I just did it. So I <laughs> I book I definitely booked this one, but I did not look at anything other than this is where Buddy booked and we were gonna And there he goes. Buddy's out of here. Oh he, he... I threw Buddy under the bus. So this is fairness, this is what happened. This is a rebuttal, and they're going to see it all. So, Chad said he booked the room based on your recommendation. Yes. And what did you it, you wanted to you wanted I to get him wanted, to get a chance? I to just wanted to be with Buddy. That was all. That's it. We were trying to hang out. That's all. We we're just <laughs> this place is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Door bends in half. It the does. Latch, the latch pulls off. The trim pulls off of the wall. It's pretty rough. The drywall is falling out of the bathroom. There's spider webs in there. The spider webs are everywhere. The the knobs for the for the uh, shower are coming off of the freaking. <laughs> we didn't even get that far. Out of the wall. We didn't even get Buddy, that far. Was in oh, there's waist cigarette deep. burn marks on the comforter <laughs> on the bed. That's what that was. Yes. That's what that. Okay, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, she rough. Hey, they're gonna double charge you guys. They're gonna double charge yeah. us. Yeah, that's what they said. You better check it out. You got out of it. You better be joking. Camera, you better be. Yeah. Great. So, Buddy's She's wife, great. Heather, right? Yes. Buddy's wife, Heather. I threw Buddy under the bus, but he I just, I just wanted to spend one night with Buddy. That was all, so we could do yeah. karate in the basement uh -oh. or in the garage. That's <laughs> all. Well, I'll leave him here and I'll head up the road. Yeah, because you guys are going to the Hampton. Where are we going? Yes. The Embassy yeah. Suites. Is that what it is? Nice. I don't know. Our days uh -oh, only got to get better. Buddy. Sorry, Sorry, this was our yeah, night. It's all good. <laughs> we'll have another. It was short. And you are. Josh. I'm Josh. Bu I'm Buddy's buddy. <laughs> buddy's buddy. <laughs> hey, nice to see you we'll see you tomorrow. Well, after a long day of driving, the first thing I want to do is uh, drive another 40 minutes to a hotel. At least it's down the route. So maybe we could post up tomorrow morning and catch some cars cruising by. What a day. This is a whole lot nicer.
than where we were just at. You got a double slider here. Watch, it'll close. See? That's neat. But then look at this one. What? Bifold power door. And I was over here checking everything out. Look at what you can add to your room tab, like full-size sodas. Ooh, I might grab one of those. Ice cream, wine. All of this, Lunchables, that's neat. Haven't seen that before. And then you have all of your like, you know, cosmetic stuff. Boxes of like Twinkies and Ding Dongs. Full-size chip bags. This is where it's at. I can do this. Did you go out here? No, I haven't yet. I, did, I didn't get past this room. Oh, yeah. What's up? All right. Yeah, this is uh, much, much nicer. I gotta check in. All right, trying to park the van. Yep, she gone. Awesome. Oh, my uh, alternator. Look at my alternator. Oh, it's crooked. It's broken. The mount's broken? Yeah. Oh, it sure is, dude. Look at that. You just saw the alternator cracked. The alternator works great, but it doesn't work when the uh, housing breaks. And now my belt's like all wrapped up in the fan. And I still gotta cook dinner and edit this video. Belt's still good? Belt's yeah. Still good. Yeah, belt's still good. Good. So I was, I was literally just talking to Charlie about this. This couldn't have happened at a better place. Imagine it happening at the hotel or on the interstate on the way here. And then like now we're, we're down another couple of hours to try to get the dang hotel or to the try to get the van to the hotel. It literally was like it blew right there and we just pushed it in. So now Charlie's calling AutoZone for me because it's a Duralast Gold. And uh, yeah, I know I've kind of like been given AutoZone props about being not too bad, but this is the fifth alternator that's going in this van. All right, off camera, Charlie called the closest AutoZone to us. They didn't have it in stock and they were closing at nine. Then they hooked us up with this other AutoZone that's closing at, they said 11. 11. And it's uh, nine o'clock right now. So we got time to let this cool down, cook dinner. Somebody's got to run to the parts store and grab that alternator and then it's gonna be funny when, uh, cause you could just literally pull it out. So you're just gonna take him, <laughs> take him this alternator. Look at this thing. Like you could literally pull it out. <laughs> oh, it broke the bracket for the uh, oil uh, dipstick. That's the bracket for the oil dipstick. Mm. Anybody that watches this channel is very familiar with this shot. This is the fifth alternator that's going in this truck. I literally was talking to somebody today at the show and was like, Alternator number five is going in when we get home because it's squeaking. Not the alternator, the, the mounting bracket. Well, come over here, big guy. So, so listen, the way that the, the alternator goes in, if we literally, I know it sounds crazy. If we clean it and JB weld that ear back on, <laughs> I'm just saying it pushes down on the bracket. It doesn't pull away from it. So that is just holding it in place. Oh, there she is, boys and girls. Oh, heck yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. We got the bracket pulled out. While I've been working on this, these boys have been over here taking over my job, cooking dinner. It's pretty awesome, right? That's right. Yeah, Gotta dude. Gotta feed the troops. Gotta feed the troops. And the squirrels. Say, and the <laughs> squirrels. The way Wayne's handling this spatula. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can see here that ear broke off. So the alternator mounts through that hole and through that hole, but it won't work without both of them. Some of them have three, like the dually, but uh, this one only has two, so we have to we have to fix this. JB Weld's our friend tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the issue. 
I've never seen an alternator break like this, ever. Has anybody else seen an alternator break like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Chad has. Putting blowers on them. Oh, well, I don't, I, I, I don't have a blower on mine. I have a, let's see, What's a say? clutch fan. What's to say there wasn't a centrifugal blower on the old Bruce Banner? <laughs> there could have been. But yeah, so that broke off. Got it from O'Reilly's. And I owe Charlie 230 bucks. I appreciate it, man. And I got the old one back so I could take it to AutoZone and throw it in the garbage. Every year, Josh and you got a new 230 bucks on alternators on the power tour. <laughs> Lifetime warranty. Tape donated by Mr. Voss. Parts provided by Mr. Charlie. Food provided by Mr. Wayne. Insults provided by Mr. Chad. <laughs> and there's there's much much more to come. Sorry, my feet are in the shot. <coughs> get, get that out of there. I'm glad we're fixing it here and not in the other parking lot where I walked in on a dude on his bed. It's a little late for birds, ain't it? Not in Ohio. Oh really? Big city. Night birds. Night birds. Big city. Yeah, Big the city lights. lights. Are they just laughing at me? There you go. That's the repair-ish. That's going to get us home to Florida. Yeah. All right, guys and gals. Bruce Vanner, down for the count. Going to wake up early in the morning, put all that back together. We're going to let that uh, JB Weld kick. It needs, uh, it needs some time to cure. So I'm hoping that it's uh, it's gonna be enough to hold us to Florida. But you know, there's only one way to find out and you're gonna have to find out in the next 2024 Hot Rod Power Tour video. As always, I appreciate you guys and gals hanging around and watching this one. We'll see you in the next video.